Hey, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey. And today we're gonna make spicy buttermilk fried chicken. Um, I'm using a whole chicken that I cut up into eight pieces today. Um, so we start by brining it in buttermilk, of course, because um, we're in the South. Um, so you're gonna season it with your poultry seasoning and cover it in hot sauce and buttermilk. Um, stir that all up, let it combine and sit, and then cover it and put it into the fridge um, at least a couple of hours, at least an hour, I should say, um, but no more than 12 or else your buttermilk will really, really over tenderize your chicken and that is a thing. So um, once it's done, you wanna remove it from the buttermilk, um, put it on a wire rack and pat the skin dry. And then you're gonna actually tint it with foil and put it back in the fridge. So now we're gonna make our flour dredge. Um, it'll be all-purpose flour, baking soda, and cornstarch as usual. And then you are going to season it to taste. Season it very liberally, but season it with what you want. I'll put a recipe in the description box, but you know, it's like Auntie Fee says, the people can do what the people wanna do. Then you're gonna make your egg wash um, using eggs, buttermilk, hot sauce, and poultry seasoning from you know, the same stuff that you used to brine it with. Um, you'll see that I am using Texas peat, and that's because I'm from Eastern North Carolina, and that is our hot sauce. Um, so I used hot sauce, um, Texas peat hot sauce in the buttermilk brine and in the egg wash, and I used Texas peat dust seasoning amongst others in the flour dredge, and that's why you see the orange color. Um, but as far as preparing or doing this part here, um, you want to make sure that you lightly coat it in flour first, dip it in your egg wash, and then put it back in the flour. And on that second time, you want to kind of press to it here. Really make sure that you get a good, good quality coating on the outside of that chicken. Now, after all of your chicken is thoroughly coated, um, you are gonna set it aside on the counter for about half an hour. This is gonna let it come back up to temp from being in the fridge while you let the skin dry out. And it lets your oil get a chance to preheat. Um, you wanna preheat your oil to about 360 degrees. Use an oil thermometer if you're kinda new to frying chicken or if you're old to it and you just wanna be sure, it's, it's very helpful. Um, you want to make sure that you maintain a temperature of around 315 degrees while you're frying. This really helps to make sure that the inside gets done before the outside does. Um, also, a meat thermometer really helps here, especially when you have different pieces of chicken that, you know, some are huge, some are small. It can be really hard to know. And no matter what anyone tells you, I personally think that it's impossible to know by looking at chicken whether it's done. I just... It, it's not foolproof to me. Um, between batches, you wanna make sure that you skim the crunchy craggies out so they don't burn, and also take the time to bring the oil back to 360 degrees before you put in anything else. Also be way more careful when you're putting in your chicken and don't let your oil splash like I do. Um, after it's all cooked, um, you, I mean, that's it. There's, I guess there's not really anything else to say. You're done. Drain it. Don't drain it on paper towels though. You know how I feel about that. Put it on a wire rack and then you're done. And voila, you've got beautiful, lovely, spicy, delicious fried chicken. So there you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day.